them chips are actually hot. Oh, is in view. There's the chips that the square grain's making. For dry wood, it's pretty good. Um, the, I can feel uh, dampness uh, in here with the dang chips. Coming out of it are warm. It's crazy. I'm glad I didn't knock the rakers down any more than I did. Uh, this one's pretty aggressive. I'd like working with this chain. It'd be a fun chain to goof off with, but uh, it's just a little bit too aggressive for my liking. So um, it's either the grain or I'm going to have to find something in between uh, breaker heights. Like I bought one more sharpening on this, then it would probably be about right where I want it. Uh, let's try that maple. That'll be a noodle.
saw is a hoss. It's pulling good chips. A little too aggressive for my liking. Uh, when I did that bore cut and then went to pull up on it, it about shoved me off my little pile I was standing on here. But, uh, just feels so weird running a 67cc saw that's making uh, almost 9 horse. It's making 8.8 .8 horse. Uh, it might be a touch more than that since I gave it the extra muffler mod. Uh, it's got an extra outlet on it since I've had it uh, when it, it dynoed. I only had a single 1 inch outlet on it when I had it dynoed at 8.8. .8. And uh, it's got, uh, last time I was dinking around with it, I gave it a dyno Joe deflector and another outlet on this side. Uh, and it's still, like look how discolored the, the muffler is, it's still producing gobs of heat out of that thing. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have not did the pipe, should have just done three of Dino Joe's outlets on it there to get that heat out of there. Um, I had a foam filter set up on it, but uh, it actually ran worse with the foam filter set up than it did with the stock air filter. Um, I think it was too free flowing. I think I've pushed the limits to this so far that uh, I think the stock filter is actually acting like a little bit of a restrictor, allowing the carburetor to pull a little bit more fuel because uh, it, it runs way too lean uh, with a high flowing filter on it and I can't adjust the carburetor. Uh, it's this thing's border borderline too much for the for the stock carburetor, but uh, yeah, that saws a saws a beast. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that uh, square ground chain. It still feels. I plowed through some dirty stuff with it there and it still feels pretty sharp. Now that I've ran it, I don't see that much of that eagle beak that I was seeing. I wonder how much of that was just maybe just a little burr that I had to rub off with, uh, with the wood. Um, when I noodled through that piece of maple, after I got halfway through, then it dawned on me, it's like, oh shoot, that's that piece of maple that had all that steel in it there watching me smoke this chain. And uh, luckily I don't think I hid anything in it. But, uh, yeah, it worked good on that grinder to get that gullet out of the way on there, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd want them rakers any lower. Uh, maybe on a bigger... Like if I was to run this chain on like my 11 horse 661 or something, uh, maybe, but then the pushback would, would be even worse. It's definitely for bore cut, I mean, it bore cut on that softwood there pretty, pretty easy, but uh, it's just a little bit too aggressive for bore cutting. But uh, it seems like a pretty fast chain, but I don't know. I don't know that much about square ground chains. <laughs> I'm only been dabbling them in them. Um, I know I've hand filed a few over the years, but uh, most of my expertise in chains is all in round. Um, I've been sharpening round chains since I was like 13, so uh, I don't know. I got a lot to learn on square grain, but uh, I think that's like my fifth fifth chain I've sharpened. Um, the angle on the top plate's not quite what I want uh, I need to figure out how how to get that angle more this way on that square grinder um, I would say that's that top plate is probably 18 degrees or so and I would like it between 25 and 30 but I don't know maybe square grains different than I know if this was a round grain, I would I would want that at 25, but uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to get that wheel to to change the the top angle. I'm assuming it has something to do with that one 
wheel dresser that you that you slide up and down. Um, I don't know. He gave me a whole bunch of other different wheels that got all different capers on that that slide back. Maybe I should bolt one of them on there, grind on it, see what it looks like, and then maybe I can uh, loosen up the adjuster for that uh, dresser and have it touch at the top and the bottom of it and then tighten it down and then I could duplicate that same angle. Uh, it'd be nice if that machine had it set up where, you know, you could just adjust them two little square blocks and say that this is 30 degrees, 25 degrees, or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. But, uh, she's looking pretty grubby. I need to wash her up. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It plows through the oat good, plows through that, uh, hickory good. Um, I didn't know I had a stick of that hickory left. But, uh, got that big oak up there but I, I want to cut that into firewood but I want to test a few saws with it I got this piece of cottonwood here um, I got that piece of oak there and then there's another piece of oak on the the bottom I believe this is a piece of oak or that might be a piece of maple right here that I got to get get out and I don't know what is this one yeah I'm getting Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I'll catch you guys later.